hours a day. That's sellersadvantage.com. After a car crash, the big insurance companies will try to downplay your case. They say things like, it's only a fender bender or it's just a herniated disc. I worry that some law firms fall for this BS. Not us. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Are your trash bins filthy and smelly? Call 1-833-WASHBINS or go to washbins.com and schedule one of our trucks to come disinfect, sanitize, and deodorize your bins, leaving them looking and smelling great. Call 1-833-WASHBINS. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 8. Now at 8, a wild chain of events. A dangerous chase involving catalytic converter theft suspects is called off, but then a short time later, the suspects collide with a sheriff's deputy SUV. Activists across the country speak out on abortion rights and one of the biggest rallies right here in Southern California. We'll take you there and you'll hear their concerns. And desperate to flee after a deadly train station attack, time is running out for Ukrainians living in the next likely target of Russia's unrelenting war. Well, good Saturday evening. I'm Leslie Money. And hello, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 8, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. We begin with breaking news tonight. An arrest in this attempted kidnapping of a 13-year-old Anaheim girl. Police are confirming they have captured the man who tried to drag the Dale Junior High School student into his pickup truck last month. Well, she screamed. Witnesses ran to help, and the driver sped off. Tonight, police tell us 31-year-old Andrew Pio Anaheim is under arrest in this case. He was caught yesterday after an hour-long chase that began in Brea and ended on the 5 in Mission Viejo. The CHP used spike strips to flatten Pio's tires. Also tonight, what started as a common catalytic converter theft is now becoming an investigation on several fronts. The theft turned into a chase, which was then called off for safety reasons minutes later. A sheriff's deputy crashed into that suspect's vehicle. Three people were told are in custody tonight in connection with that case. It unfolded early this morning in New Orleans and Lyons Avenue near the 5 Freeway. KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedine tells us what happened. The cleanup taking place behind me after a sheriff's SUV slams into a minivan after chasing three suspects inside suspected of stealing catalytic converters. And indeed, investigators did find eight of those catalytic converters inside of the minivan right behind me. A smashed sheriff's SUV and the suspect's mangled minivan. This is how it ended. It began when someone called deputies to report a stolen catalytic converter. A pursuit started, but the sheriffs called it off, believing it was too dangerous.